Hey everybody and welcome back to Cast Iron Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to re-season a skillet that you have at home that you've cooked on and it's worn down and the seasoning's gone. So I'll show you how to do it the proper way and it'll make it last forever. Stay tuned. Okay, if you're using flaxseed oil, you're going to want to turn your oven to 500 degrees. If you're using lard, then you're going to want to turn it to 450 degrees. This is more of the advanced type of stuff to do, so if you've never used it or you've never, you know, seasoned cast iron before, go ahead and use the lard. If you've got anything else, just pause the video and, and put it in your watch later list and go get some lard because you're really going to need one of these to get it the way it looks in my videos. You know, the mirror like um, shiny finish. This is like the food grade equivalent of linseed oil, so it's going to bond to it. Like linseed oil bonds to wood. So, <clears throat> while we got that heating up, you want to get the cold pressed pure flaxseed oil, organic. You don't want any additives or any chemicals or anything like that. This is just pure stuff. Now, it runs about 15 bucks a bottle. You want to put about a teaspoon in there. I'm sorry, a tablespoon in there. So after you do that, you're going to need some paper towels, not just any kind, the kind like shop towels that don't have any lint, so you don't want to get it into your skillet. So you're going to rub this on first, pretty good amount, you know, you don't have to be stingy. What I tell you to do after this is what makes the skillet actually work and not get all nasty. There's a lot of stuff you're going to see online and tell you a million different ways how to do it. You can go by that or just if you haven't seen the videos, go check them out on my channel and you'll see. The difference. Okay, well now we're going to put a little more on the bottom side. These paper towels are really absorbent, so I'm just going to use one. Now if you see red rust come up on this paper towel, then you got you got rust and you're going to have to go scrub it really hard. This skillet here is one that's been cooked on. Somebody gave me to fix and all right, so once you get it put on like that, get the handle good. Go ahead and get the handle. If you see dark rust like this, then that kind of rust is okay. Black rust is okay. Red rust is bad. Remember that. So this is kind of also a tutorial for people that have a skillet and they've just worn it down and it's they want to re-season it real quick. I'm going to show you how to do it. Or if this is your first time either way. So 450 for lard and 500 for this. It's going to bond to the to the skillet. You want to here's the thing that's going to make it work right and a lot of people don't. You're going to see things and read things to put it on and just wipe it off. You have to wipe this off like you never wanted it on there in the first place. Okay, if you have a skillet that is worn out on the bottom, just sticky or whatever, get yourself some Brillo. It's okay to use soap when you're stripping the skillet, just not after. So you wanna Take it and scrub it down with, with um, Brillo. Just, you know, get all of your old seasoning and everything off of there. Rinse it out real good, dry it off real good. And then you'll be right where I am right now. All right, so I wiped that off. I mean, like, I never wanted it on there. It's gone. But it's not really gone. There's plenty on there, and that's what's going to keep it... If you put too much, it's going to get real matty 
and not smooth and then it's going to start building up layers and it's going to stick you're going to get rust underneath the different layers from stuff from water cleaning it whatever okay the oven's up to 500 degrees if you're using lard 450 for you so we're going to put that in we're going to set the timer for an hour and then we're going to come back we're going to take it out And we're going to let it cool off completely after that hour. I mean completely. It has to be completely cool to the touch. So after that hour is over, we're going to pull it out. We're going to let it... That's a tongue twister. Cool completely. And then we're going to start the process over again for six times. Okay, folks, it's been an hour. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. All right. All right. So you're gonna need a glove that's meant for this is a grill glove, but you know it works inside. There's a link on my brownie video to get one of these. You definitely don't want to do anything like this. It's got to be something that can reach in and, and grab a pan like this. Now, if the pan's smaller and you're doing linseed oil like you're doing a little tiny pan, you can do it for 45 minutes. All right. So let's take a look. See how it's starting to get shiny and everything. All right, so I'm going to totally let that cool off completely. And then I'll start doing some more on it. And I'll, I'll let you see in between, you know, the seasoning and stuff. So I'll let this totally clean off, cool off, and then I'm going to come back and we'll go from there. Okay, everybody, the skillet's been seasoned three times and I want to show you the difference and then I'll show you again on the sixth and final time and right now I'm also going to show you what happens if you don't wipe it completely off like I showed you okay this is the third time starting to get shinier see how it's nice and smooth and even now let me show you what it looks like this is back when I was a rookie look what I did to this nice Wagner see that that's drip marks because I didn't wipe it completely off and then wipe it off again okay so don't do that wipe it all off and I'll get back to you as soon as the six ones big done. shout out to Jessa who did my banner art and also my intro video I'll leave a link if you guys want to get some stuff done on yours all right so let's unveil it now remember it's not gonna be quite as shiny as is lard and also you know like I say let it cool off in here don't pull it out like I did in the beginning that was just for show okay as you can see it's darker now if you can go ahead and um, pause it go back and look at you know the, the three times and if you look in here it's it's you know it's nice and smooth it's not like you know the one that I showed you that's bad that is because you gotta wipe it all off all right so I'm glad you guys stay for this I really appreciate it drop down a line what you want to see cooked in this thing it's real deep so let me know and i appreciate it if you want to see what else is going to be cooked in here go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell icon and you will get notified whenever i put a new one up thank you remember don't hate congratulate